we have data that will be coming out in phase three trials soon, whether they will make the, the cutoff for late breaking for, a, for ASCO uh, is unclear, but we will be learning data in the very near future about the palmolidomide phase three trial in myelofibrosis, that was palmolidomide versus placebo, and we'll be able to get the best sense in that very stringent, uh, very well done trial, what is the benefit of that for anemia in myelofibrosis. That agent may uh, be very active on its own, it may be a natural complement to JAK2 inhibitor therapy. We also will be seeing the phase three data from the Jakarta study in the near future, probably not for ASCO, but comparing SAR302503 versus placebo, and again, trying to get the best sense as to the, the full impact of that, uh, of that drug. I think in the near future, I think some for ASCO, probably more for ASH, we'll be starting to see the initial data regarding all of the parallel phase two combination studies going on in myelofibrosis. There are many, let's say, if we use ruxolinum as a backbone of drugs to either A, help to inhibit fibrosis along with ruxolinum, or B, give other drugs in combination to help improve anemia, or C, target downstream pathways of JAK2. So a very exciting time of very rashly designed clinical trials for uh, the MPNs.